tell us a little bit more about your pair experience, Ken, because I didn't yeah, because, have that. Yeah, we uh. couldn't, well, <laughs> Jakub couldn't figure that out. <laughs> yeah, doesn't know. He doesn't know that sure. you need I... to put in some credit card details. <laughs> I can I can definitely get into that here in a second. I just I just want to cap this off by saying that like in in a game that's this complex with meta systems, I would expect them to go so far as to push it maybe in the next iteration of this game down the path of like a 4x social loop. This is a no-bullshit gaming show where we talk about games and their revenue in great detail. Powered by our ad monetization, game design, and user acquisition triple threat expertise. Welcome to the Two and a Half Gamers, the unfiltered truth served with a side of giggles. Let's not forget this is a 4 a.m. conference discussion vibe, so let's not take it too seriously. Tune in now. And stay two and a half no steps ahead of the UA. gaming yeah, industry. No you uh, <laughs> <laughs> as usual, as usual, you can go last. Nobody cares. It's fine. We'll yeah. look at the silly creatives later. <laughs> yeah, 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 I can put in post production, whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the uh, two and a half gamers. And we have a special guest today again because we had a lot of fun with Ken last time when we were talking about Ball Stars. And he is also a guy who can actually talk with Jakub about uh, the game design and product stuff, <laughs> right? But before we start, uh, my name is Matthias Lancheric. I'm Felix Broberg. We are your hosts, and as I mentioned. Welcome, Ken. Welcome again. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, what are you talking about today? Legend of Mushroom. We teased in our Slack and fucking killing it everywhere. It was live, I mean, like uh, outside of US for a while, right? And yeah. now they, they did a Western uh, launch, and oh my God, they're getting, uh, earning a lot of money. <laughs> Legend of Mushroom go brrr, brrr. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, how we Ooh. got known about the game was this Korean censored our article, if I remember correctly. And, uh, can you remind me who actually sent this to our like, uh, group? You, you know? said this. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. It's fine. Yeah. So if we, <laughs> yeah, if you translate it, it actually pretty much says that like Legend of Mushrooms hit number one in South Korea, which is kind of unheard of, especially where you know there's still lineage dominance there, and it's kind of very heavy still. Like, yeah, but... that's that's South Korea for for all all you know reasons and purposes but yeah the game's grossing very very high there uh and we'll get to it how it actually kind of got there oh, where we are yeah so it was released somewhere in november 23rd 2023 last year and now it scaled all the way to something like two and a half two million ip revenue only there's a substantial day. A, day. A, day. a day a day there's a substantial amount of ad revenue on top of it but like it scaled like crazy and download wise, you could see. I think this is let's let's do countries filter. Yeah, this is the Western release somewhere at the start of March. This is the Japan one. Can, before... can you can you drop the name of the Legend of Mushroom in what is South Korean or where is it to our chat? <laughs> Which one? Yeah, the name of the game because you know the fun fact is when you're trying to actually search for it in Sensor Tower. You can't. Ah, it's physically impossible. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's impossible. Uh, now it's possible because it's a Western release now. But before you had to go with the Korean name. Yes, you're right. That's 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 like that's there. But yeah, let let. No, even you. right now, if you like just now like try to uh, search for it, Legend of Mushroom, it's it's not there. But it's it's there now. Now it's there. Like you see it. Ah, nice. There's yeah. like that. Their it's app sandwich. icon has the Pepe Frog in it. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ, Jesus. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. All so, the memes, all the memes you can get. So now it's it's under like also like uh, Western release now. You see that like whatever at the start there was like 80k downloads from US. Now it's something like 20k a day. But overall, uh, if you look at it, they're still doing like 200k downloads a day. So pretty strong still already somewhere past like i don't know 125 million dollars in ip revenue and something like 10 million downloads still yeah. 
a lot on. less downloads than I would expect now, but again, they're just scaling in the West. The, this whole kind of thing where they started in South Korea from like end of December mm. was kind of, I would say, trial period a little bit. But then you see how it's scaled now. Yeah. Can you put Legend of Slime next to this on yes, the launch? That's that's <laughs> the other thing. We'll be talking a lot about our other favorite game from our friends from Lone Complain, which is Legend of Slime. Which is which no is... longer managed by them, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's now on sitting on App Quantum's account. And uh, this game was actually released or let's say soft launch in June uh, 2022. Then it hit its peak somewhere around February last year, and then it went on a little bit of decline, but still going strong with something like I don't know, 35k IP revenue a day, which I would Who's multiply clicking? by Matt is clicking. Yeah, Matt is clicking. I'm <laughs> clicking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I will talk a little bit more about Legend of Slime. But the this other game, if I if I understand correctly, the Legend of Mushroom is what like four months old it's regarding. A game. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> it's quite an achievement actually, uh, because I think this is the second podcast in a row now that we are talking about the game that's making two and a half million a day, and this game actually... gamers talking about game making. And, and, and this game is actually game making, making more than the previous one, the last four one, because last one didn't have ads. These have ads on top of it. So my guess is it's like three plus million. So a please, day. Uh, our listeners, if you know about a game that makes two and a half million a day, please let us know. <laughs> Yeah, they want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, definitely, that's there. Um, shall we go to the games then? Which games? <laughs> yeah, because if we look at it, and I'll do a very fast kind of a rundown of it. Oh, history lesson. Yeah, not history lesson. It's literally like it's there, and this is also there. Where are your cucumber glasses? I was hoping you'd have your cucumber glasses. No, I don't have cucumber glasses anymore. I have this whatever mask there. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is Boring. that some yeah. features are literally taken one to one from these two games. Like you open the game, like Legend of Mushroom is like, wait a second, these Legends of Slime. Yeah. But like, don't get me wrong, this is not the blatant copy. It's like they copied the core and the solid kind of baseline of the game, but they improved where they they I get I think it's very, very smart improvement. Because if you look at let's say let's say the pet power progression layer it's basically the same like there's literally nothing to it if you look at the skill progression layer uh again it's literally the same if we look at let's say let's go to yeah these kind of alternative game modes again literally the same they even don't bother even changing the icons it's literally the same icons like the keys has the same icons if i go uh where, where i was there the relic thing here yeah, this thing, like you see this fork icon currency. So if we go here into, uh, no, no, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, this this is again the same, another power progression yeah. layer. But the relic was, where was the relic? I uh, always forgot that one. That's why you don't, do, you, know, do, do, you didn't do, even do, play the game no, properly. No, too, ah, too many things. Yeah, yeah. The click on the book. Yeah, there, there's the thanks, Ken. So see, the fork icon is literally the same. So they went like one to one, didn't even bother with changing the visuals. Oh. But what's what's really important between these two games, and there's two major distinctions that we can talk about in more detail, is that they changed the very core of the game a little bit because this mean this they one... changed very core. There is core and there is very core. Yeah. This is literally the very cool because both are idle RPGs, but and the thing is, is hardcore. <laughs> yeah, that, super hardcore. That Legend of Slime has the let's say the very very kind of old school. Very very core. Yeah, so very, we have very, very core. core, core, very core, and very very core. Okay. You you upgrade specific parameters with these currencies that go to gazillions, like literally eleven point six H or whatever. Yeah, and that's that's like the core of idle, like adventure capitalism and stuff like that. Like th that was the old idle core. These guys took it and put literally one progression layer, which is the equipment behind it, and it's about opening gacha forever. <laughs> like the whole thing is based about this magic lamp, which is basically a gacha that you're opening forever. And at some point, it gets automated, and you select which kind of a, let's say, the, where, where's the auto button? Yeah, here it is. You select which kind of a rarity you don't even want to bother with. Yeah. 
and it only <laughs> informs you or stops the game when you actually roll a rarity that you're looking for, or you can roll it for like specific stat or whatever. But once you press it, the th whole thing can automate itself. Like yeah, it but you can't press anything else because you can. Was my... Well, yeah, you can, was, but you I cannot was press the, lamp. On the Yeah, yeah, you can't click on the lamp. It's like I put it like on auto sell, and it's like what the fuck? Why is it not working? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy actually showed me like ah, but you can't click but, but on. But this is yeah. this is very important, like critical iteration where it's much more streamlined. Yeah, because you put because, phone, phone on the on the table and it kind of plays. But you don't need to choose these things because here you need to choose like where should I spend my resources, mm. this or that or whatever. Here it's very simple because the moment a better gear arrives, there's even a confirmation button. Like, do you really want to get rid of this better gear? They literally have it in. So it's very streamlined, which I think is much better onboarding experience. You don't really need to go through all these things. Then the rest of the game is pretty much the same. We don't like we can talk about it a little bit, but I don't think so. It's kind of yeah, it's that, that, that needed. That, that, that important. The important part is the social part. Because they have social, Legend of Slime doesn't have social features, which I think is the killer iteration that they did there. And Thank you very much for very, listening. Very <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and by the way, if you listen to a podcast about Legend of Slime, that was the point why I said I don't give Legend of Slime 10 out of 10 because one point was deducted because they didn't have any social features. Ooh, which means this is going to get... Ooh, well, let's see yeah. what kind of rating this is going to get. Yeah, so I guess we're going to talk a little bit about it more, but yeah, I would like to give Ken a little bit more space when I'm just rambling all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with literally... 99% of the things Jakob yes. is saying. Let's talk um, about the 1%. Yeah, that's important. 1%. <laughs> I mean, like, I just want to reiterate, I think it's great that they reduce the decision fatigue on upgrading specific stacks of uh, gear. Um, and they've obviously done a great job with providing a super wide dearth of progression verticals. I mean, players have a huge amount of things to do throughout the first week of gameplay. Um, you know, I think there's 10 different, very clear progression verticals that they can hit, but that's, again, the same for uh, for Legend of Slime or whatever, the other game that's based off of. Um, so long as, uh, like, the social side of it, I would say that where I somewhat disagree or where I feel like I might start disagreeing is that it still feels very uh, juvenile to me. Like uh, when I when I look at systems that are this deep, um, and this is a very like meta system deep game, I would expect the social systems to also be very very deep. And in my opinion, it's still a quite a light social game. Like um, our the the guild that I'm in uh, is I think similar progression to Yakov's. Like we're level four, level five. It's literally a, all the whales on our server are in this one. Um, but there's not that many benefits, I would say, to being in our guild right now. Um, we can be targeted by our own guild members in PvP. Mm -hmm. They can raid us still uh, for, like, our resources. So there's, like, some weird trade-offs to being in that guild. The only benefits, really, are um, that there's uh, some, like, custom rewards you can get inside of Guild versus Guild. There's some shop level up that you can get. So, like, some basic, uh, like, like I would say really basic rewards. If you're a payer, these rewards mean nothing to you. Yeah, um and the, there's the, some the family shop is kind of shitty. Yeah, but it's the actor is not a payer, so you know, he needs yeah. to grind. <laughs> he needs to grind. He needs to grind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get this. Um, yeah, t yeah, tell us a little bit more about your payer experience, Ken, because I didn't yeah, because, have that. Yeah, we couldn't, yeah. well, <laughs> Jakub couldn't figure that out. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know that sure. you need I... to put in some credit card details. <laughs> I can I can definitely get into that here in a second. I just I just want to cap this off by saying that like in in a game that's this complex with meta systems, I would expect them to go so far as to push it maybe in the next iteration of this game down the path of like a four x social loop, where um, they start really managing their shards and taking guilds like mine and putting them on a four x map. And like we've been talking in previous podcasts about how games bait and switch you from these types of loops into yeah. really deep combat loops from like forex games this feels like a good game to do that with my everybody in my in my guild is like primed to do that they're spending ten thousand dollars fifteen thousand dollars within the first week and a half to two weeks like the top payers nice. in my guild and they would definitely continue to smash each other against other server shards you know in the same same uh, same like regards so I think that's the type of place I see this game going. Right now, it still feels super shallow to me. I know that it's a big evolution against uh, Legend of Slime, but mm. there's still a long way to go. Question. Usually clones that will make as much money. Is it just the social features you'd say that is driving this value, or would you say it's something else? It's not the clone. I, 
It's I, so calm. I didn't um actually I barely played Legend of Slime. I have it on my phone and I played like a week worth. Um so I don't know the merchandising in Legend of Slime very well. I was gonna go into some of the merchandising in Legend of Mushroom, which is phenomenal. Um and why I think there there's really strong sides of it and there's a few like uh I would say problem areas that I wanted to call out. Um so I'll just go into that now if you, you yes. guys want. Yeah, go go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, go yeah. Ahead. So first off the the game um ha- will have like super strong shark fin. Um so the merchandising in the game is meant so that you have really strong upfront um paying pay uh, design where like if you guys would uh, remember when you got into the game there'll be like three different offers the for like yeah. core core gear pieces like a headpiece uh, arm like a weapon and um, another headpiece those three pieces of gear will carry your character all the way to level 50 and you're basically trained from that those first initial very cheap purchases that buying power gets you super far hmm. and they tie that back into the like the first social unlock system so like leaderboard system that they have in the game if you've basically bought any of those three purchases you will rocket you up the pvp leaderboard will rocket you up the the progression uh what's it called like the level up leaderboard that they have in the game and then they mm-hmm. they have those same three purchases for like uh every single progression vertical in the game they have um uh, a really bad gotcha design. So uh, they have two... <laughs> which which <laughs> gotcha? Pay, pay, paid gotcha. Sorry, the pals and the skills. So mm-hmm. when I, when I think of a really strong gotcha design, I think back to like Genshin Impact, where when I buy a single, uh, when I unlock a single five star character, that five star character unlocks a whole new level of gameplay for me. I can play the game in new ways. I know exactly how much money I have to spend to get that character buying another six uh, five star character like synergizes with that first one in new unique gameplay ways this game fucking sucks like i could i i've <laughs> i've probably this pulled is... on this thing like seven hundred thousand times and i could not tell you a, what the value is like i know that numbers <laughs> go up but i can't point to how much i don't know like should i spend a thousand dollars in here or five thousand dollars in here because it doesn't feel like they're that consequential to me I would much rather just go into the store and buy a hundred dollars worth of gems for some uh, some other progression vertical because these two things do not map well to power progression at all. To me. It's it's um, uh, you know they have the like I call it like the shard system of Clash Royale where you're not going from like very rare big swings of like I get this five star character from Genshin Impact. It's more of a like you gradually get small amounts of power all the time all the legendaries all everything but just very small and yeah. the thing is that in the end it's just not a like increasing number power progression layer with nothing exciting in it i would say which yeah sounds like bad gacha design from this this angle yeah and there's like i mentioned earlier there's like 10 plus different uh power progression verticals in the game mm. and every single one of them has a battle pass Every single one, yep. and each of those battle passes, there's three variants of it. You know, there's yeah. a free, and then two pay, two paid variants of it. There's uh, a button to remove ads, so you can. I think it's like nine dollars, and you can yeah. remove every single ad uh, point in the game, which is great. I I pay for that one. It's like a super clear um, value offer. But I, w- I would expect I would expect in a game that has four monthly subscriptions for that ad removal to be a monthly subscription too. So like a yeah. fifth monthly subscription. There's there's literally already four monthly subs in the game. <clears throat> Put that. Like, as why a is it like sub. for like to remove ads forever? It's like remove ads for thirty days. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Put it put it three ninety nine and make it like a, a monthly one. Um, they have a custom shopping cart, which uh, is also like whale targeting. Um, but they also have really really poor um, upselling strategy. So like. I will have spent forty dollars on uh, a pack of gems, and then they never target me mm. with a custom bundle for forty dollars ever again. You mean like price segmentations? Not price segmentations yeah. like yeah. not doesn't exist. They have a web shop, and they promote me to go to that web shop uh, once a week through like a red badge, but that's it. There's no like great deals there. Um, I think there's maybe like a ten percent haircut. I can't remember the exact uh, mm. value offer, but there's only one person in my guild who goes and uses that, which sucks. Even though like yeah. everybody in my guild is like ten thousand plus yeah, vendors. Yeah, there should be like ninety percent of of the guild going to web shop and just purchase for there. Yeah. Um, so all all this to say is like the 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 way that they've designed their offers, the how deep they are, how frequent uh, or how many there are. They're basically shoving all this value really, really early in the gameplay, and they don't do a great job of um, 
spreading out that value long term and showing you the long term value. All of it is showing you how to kind of uh, progress as fast as possible into the leaderboards, into you know the the PvP leaderboard, the level up leaderboard, the guild leaderboards, and so on. And there's this like core uh, player motivation of do the thing first, right? Like there's this even these like um, these prizes that you get inside of your newsfeed uh, for being the first person on your server to reach like Apocalypse Five or whatever. That is the core player motivation of this game. So you are incentivized to do the the monetization soon, quick, now. And why I, that's one of the big reasons why I feel like this game is going to have a really poor long term monetization without additional player motivations for long-term spend. Um, there's, uh, they need to have more guild versus guild events that kind of reward that, um, that spend long-term. Right now, the only like week over week spending that I can see that they're doing for, for me and my guild is these new like mount events that they have where inside the mount system and their artifact system, they'll have these, I don't know if you want to go to advance, um, uh, Yep. There, yeah. So there's these like custom mounts that you can only get through the event system, and you have to be like the top three players on your server shard to get one of these things. And that means basically you've had to have spent, I don't know, on our server it's like five grand plus an event, which again poor monetization design because if I if I'm willing to spend a three hundred dollars but not five thousand dollars, I can't get shit. Um, so yeah, it's. it's yeah. It's a weird design, but it's going to do well. Uh, it's just going to shark fin quite heavily. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's kind of my, my, my thoughts there on that monetization sign. I don't know how much of that tracks Jacob back to Legend of Slime, but it uh, feels like they've done a good job. It's just going to be very front heavy. You mean like uh, the offer strategy of Legend of Slime compared to this? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I would say Legend of Slime by its baseline is much more uh, skewed toward ads. Because they have some some of the things that, for instance, this one. Well, this, this kind I mean, of a, still like seventy percent IIPs, thirty percent ads. Yeah, I know, but like still, like they have these like cumulative ads. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, Legend, yeah. Legend of Mushroom yeah. is definitely less than Legend yeah. of Slime. That, that's my guess. But yeah, I, I can't really comment on the like that because I'm not that like into paying things. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> I was gonna say that like things that Remo has never said. Why well, I want to make a purchase? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I have, I have like hundred plus or whatever, like Pet of Exile, or, like payer account or whatever. Like that, that's like was my my kind of thing. But I always try you, to see you know free to play experience our, anyway. Here, what everybody says nobody cares about Pet yeah. of Exile. We are. This is the game we're talking Just about. Just wait the until they release the second, <laughs> second <laughs> video. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. One, 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 one finish like few things here. Like for me, this kind of a like i know it's kind of super primitive but for me this is like genius what they did here with this farm thing farm where you literally yeah, yeah you're, you're growing your crops and you can go and steal other people's crops literally go there and then have this kind of thief <laughs> and it also happens there that if you, if you if you log into your game you literally log into your farm and there's this thief character sitting there and you need to either win a fight against him or call your friends or call your guild to kill him out otherwise he steals your crops nice so the this is I, I somebody was stealing my my resources from my, uh, from my crop, and I called my guild to, to to defeat them because it was somebody that was like more powerful than me. Yeah. And our our most powerful player came in, kicked him out, and then started stealing my resources. And I was like, shit, what the what am I supposed to do about that? Like, yeah, yeah. This is this is the thing. Like, I don't get this. Like, okay, like this whole mechanic makes sense and everything, but like most of the things that I go to steal is from my friend list actually. Yeah. Like all the people that went through me through this other mode where it's like cooperative and you random matchmaking with people, like all my friends, I can like see their, you know, they're offline. I can go into their farm and like steal their shit and stuff. Yeah, it, it's very interesting. But for me, the other good thing they did here is that the guild thing is no longer a list, it's a map. So you can show off your stuff. You can yeah. have that social status, you know, skin thing there, which is very old schoolish, but you don't see it these days anymore. You just see lists. Like in all the games that I played in like last. Half a, half a year, there was never a social feature with like like this kind of shared space. I think that they did it very good. Uh, yeah, if you nice. say that, especially after we covered like four forexes in a row on this podcast, <laughs> yeah, I, I could definitely see this going into some kind of like forex functionality. The other functionality they took from forex already, by the way, is the uh, is the timer helper mechanic, which is really good. That the whole guild pretty much can help you on timers where yeah. it, there's like research timers, building timers, crops timers, mm. whatever timers, and everybody can shave those, like the typical Forex thing. 
and and the guild is very very pushy like i literally have people like here in my chat messaging me that like we're, we're, i think it's just today like hey you could also donate in the family good rewards for you and everyone else <laughs> literally jesus so yeah. so people That's are funny. very very pushy yeah so yeah, yeah, I otherwise... already mentioned that during the weekends, like, oh my god, I need to lead to play Legend of uh, yeah, Legend because... Mushroom because they will kick me out for like two days of no activity. Yeah. It's like, Th- okay. That's, that's what literally written in, in our guild, like, uh, AFK two days is a kick. Yeah. <laughs> it's there. Yeah. Well, so... remember to donate daily, Jakub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to. Help the family. Come on, man. I would say that one of the one of the gameplay things I think they need to improve on is they need to A-B test the when to unlock the auto lamping. Mm. There, I, it's I too late, friend... I think. Yeah, it's, it's too late. late. I, have, I have a few friends who I, I was like, you need to play this game to do some research on the monetization. And they're like, this fucking lamp selection thing is, oh. is like super annoying. And yeah, it's yeah. super annoying. It unlocks after like, I don't know, level 10 or something like yeah. that. It should unlock <clears> at like <throat> level 3, but they need to A-B test that. Guys, what, what do you think the session length is for this game? It, obscenely long? Uh, yeah. 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 I would say so. I, yeah. Giant. <laughs> I literally leave mine on all day. I have like a... Uh, a wireless charging stand here in front of me and it's just going on all day because i have i have like twenty thousand lamps i have to open up yeah jacob's got that's 13, what they discussed. like how can you even like spend them all uh, you just leave it if, playing that's you, it you can unlock uh go back to your auto button and mm-hmm. um click on the oh there's you, you click can, on yeah, the one you can, you can increase the number from one true. to yeah, can, like yeah, four go yeah, down by the way yeah Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, oh man, this is life changing. No, I I saw that, but the <laughs> lamp was like number like it unlocks after a le- level of four or five, and I was like, oh, yeah. God, one more, one more. Also, here you yeah. go. The, pr- the pricing here at this level of lamp, by the way, I think go back to the go back to the, just click on the sixteen there. Yeah, yeah. So nine hundred and thirty nine thousand gold. That is roughly like ninety dollars. An IP just to just to buy that much gold to go up one fifth of a level. Yeah, well, yeah. That's... and and it still won't give you uh, the next rarity this time. <laughs> that's yeah. insane. <laughs> yeah, so things are very expensive. You know, once you get past like the first yeah, yeah. week of progression. Yeah, but but by the way, one other thing I think I don't don't have it here. Let me show you because I think I took a screenshot. Did you see how the like asynchronous Dota event that they built in the Clan Wars thing? I think that was. That was really yeah. good. The I three imagine. lanes? Yeah, yeah, the three yeah. lanes. So so basically what these guys build is pretty much an async Dota where you have three lanes, you put your whatever character in one of those trees, like all the guild pretty much puts it there, and then it goes in these uh, series of asynchronous battles against the mm. enemy clan. And after winning three battles in a row, you get penalty. So you wouldn't like destroy everything with one character. It's like pretty much like an endurance thing, I would say. And if you win two of the three lines, you win the whole thing. And there's just giant rewards. And there they are. They this feature has the special shop, which the special shop only is is the sole source of some of those. I don't know if I can get there. Yeah, I can get there. Some of those other spells, which are like whatever dragon resonance mm. event based one and stuff like that. So there's there's a little bit of like carried on a stick within the social layer but yeah I, I, don't, I don't think so it's like enough as Ken said like it could be fleshed out much more like usually games would lock the really end game things here and it would be like the sole purpose of going this way like no other way around it and just like you need to go this way otherwise you know your shit so that's uh, there yeah. can we move on to Admon because I know yeah. it's going to finish with the argument me versus one, you one, and Ken one, one last thing really <laughs> just want to kind of cover like literally one minute uh, the events that they're running, uh, I think, again, it's a little bit of improvement from Legend of Slime because they have three types of events, which is the trigger events. Basically, we track how you how you play and we give you rewards based yeah. on that. Very simple one, recycle one. Then there's like a start from scratch, which is currently done here to this like live simulator, which is pretty much yeah. a simplified version of the whole game where you like select stuff, select everything, and you just play in this, you know, ladder-based difficulty on a timer. Again, same as Legend oh. of Slime. But the third one, which is not currently running, and I can't show it, but it's pretty much like gacha, and it's like just opening gachas, and you have like three to four pools per like free to play user, and then you need to pay all the time. Like you, from these events, you don't get shit. Like yeah. you literally, you couldn't, you couldn't play those events. I could play it all day long. I couldn't even engage with the event. It's just like you need to pay in order to play this event. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. That's how you get custom like character skins, custom mount skins. Yeah. Everything. Exactly. Like like the whole thing that people are just, let's say sitting here like like hold all the airplanes or whatever. It's just like yeah, it's there. So it's, there's it's like exactly a motorcycle. There's like a candy gun. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. So so the event thing is literally cutthroat regarding this last kind of type of event. Yeah. Yep. You can go, Felix. Yeah. So for me, like. I think also always like a, a big tell is where the game is made is always if you see anything relating to a durian fruit in the game. Because no one in the West <laughs> knows what the fuck a durian fruit is. So as soon as I went in the shop, and I saw, like, a durian, yeah, a yeah, yeah. durian bomb in the shop, I was like, yeah, oh, this yeah. game is not made for the West or in the West because <laughs> no one knows what it is. It's a smelly fruit that tastes really good that you can eat yeah. on the subways in Korea, Singapore, or anywhere in Asia. Yeah. Because they smell too bad. But they taste delicious. <laughs> Either way, uh, I played to level 17. Game made me giggle a lot. Uh, cucumber glasses were a favorite. And the random shit you throw is hilarious. Uh, yeah. The similarities to Legend of Slime are uncanny. But it's also different in so major, main, many major ways when it comes to the ad monetization. Because there's a lot of rewarded ad placements. Welcome back. Magic lamp upgrade. Uh, away from keyboard boost. Three extra draws on the pals of skills. Yeah. And usually they're stackable, so you can watch them two or three times in a row, which helps a lot to get impressions up. But there's one big major flaw compared to Legend of Slime, uh, because there's no real urgency to watch yeah, movies. Why I, was like, I never watched an ad. It's like, why, why would I do that? Fuck you it. run out of resources. No. That's the only yeah. urgency. You run out of resources. So there's no real urgency, right? So basically, that's my biggest issue with this, right? So... Yeah, like I would argue probably that there's a welcome back booster mm, and uh, yeah, the, the spins maybe account for 70 to 80% of the impressions. But the ad viewer rate on this game, I would say, is way lower than what we saw on Legend of Slime. Probably only around 35, maybe 40%. Mm. Um, yeah, like I would argue here, like, like the core gameplay, at least in the start, is a bit similar to Idle. So if they want to earn more ad revenue, they need to have an ad placement at front and center that actually makes sense, like a button. Uh, but they don't. Uh, so how many ads did you guys watch? I mean, Ken doesn't because he, he pays, but, but Jakub, how many Zero. ads did you All watch? All of those. All of those. Like 40 per day. Why? Because you run out of resources, you want to move forward. <laughs> yeah, but it's annoying. I mean, it's... You play the other game in the meantime on the emulator. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> you play the other game, okay. Good for yeah. you. <clears throat> anyway, so ad view array things around like 35, 45%, uh, mm. 35 to th 35 to 40%. Uh, but since most ad placements are stacked, probably what's happening is that the users who are watching are watching quite a lot of ads when that is happening. So I think probably the impressions per DU is maybe around five or six. So in the last 30 days, Sensor Tower says half a million uh, DAO on average in the user. That's making 6.3 million in the last 30 days in IAPs. <laughs> so I've had to increase the ECPM <laughs> average for that because obviously it's going to yeah. get higher on. <laughs> <laughs> Mad meme here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that means that this game is making about 55 to 60k a day from rewarded ads or 1.8 million a month or about 27%. So if you take into account the sadness multiplier, probably that would be closer to 20, I would say. Yeah. So now I'm going to come to the part where probably I'm going to make Jakub and Ken's ears bleed, but just hear me out here. <laughs> so if I was managing this game, the first thing I would ask to do is to try to integrate banner ads because exactly what Ken said before, the yeah. session lengths on this game exactly. are absolutely wild. The audience spends, basically spends time playing on autoplay and grinds. Exactly. just keeps the phone down. You it's have to fall on the table. Point. Nobody exactly. cares. Yeah. For non-purchasers, take the event when most purchases are made and everyone who doesn't watch a lot of rewarded ads and doesn't make any IAPs, you call them like the useless segment. <laughs> yeah. And basically after a while, you start showing banner ads, right? So yeah. basically that's where you'd have uh, yeah, the combination of Jakub and Mathieu because Mathieu didn't watch any rewarded ads and Jakub didn't make any purchases. Yeah. So basically low like low revenue driving users and you start showing them banner ads. So I did the math on this. So I think you could probably show at least 160 or 200 banner impressions on average, which probably is a bit low for this segment. 
But if that's 40% of the users, that would mean about 14 to 20K a day in additional ad revenue from a segment that's not really driving that much revenue, which is yeah. almost like half a million a month in additional ad revenue. And you know what? Nobody cares because they make two and a half million a day. But mate, this is not significant enough. And it, it really, I mean, like here, like, look, like look at the, look at the, look at this, like the gameplay. Like, first of all, like, where would you put this? Bottom. And isn't, isn't there like Bottom. so many things anyway? Like, it's like fucking chaotic. Mate, I mean, fuck that, man. Like, I, I, I refuse that to be an argument because I'm sorry, but five or six million a year, like, there's no studio that says no to that. That's just retarded. Oh, yeah, there are so many studios. <laughs> I think there is one in Finland. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe even more. And like right. they, they make yeah, five million like, in two days. Who no, the fuck I'm saying cares? segment. I'm saying segmented. That's all I'm saying. So let me get this straight. So you're saying they're making sixty k to compare to two point half a million, yeah. and they nothing. should do this. Yeah, just, just nothing. Think, think about the engineering work that they yeah exactly one, one A B test, and they just increase the IP revenue by ten percent and already make yeah. more money. You know. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, since wait, wait. oh, oh come on, on. Since like, Tower said this game made 6.2 million a month. 6.2 million a month with what? Of, in the last 30 ad? days. In, no, in the last no. 6 days. 30 days. Because it's going like this. So, yeah, maybe it's less. But, you know, keep in mind if they stay at two yeah. and a half a day, it's like it's going to be a completely different picture next month. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. So. I think yeah, my guilt. Very... I think like, my guild is two and a half million dollars, man. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like the IP guild. I, I'm sorry here, but like, yeah, what you're saying makes sense. Yeah, yeah, but not sense. for this game. Exactly. That that's I would end up here because like, if you just do like a, I don't know, quarter of what Ken just said with the pink part, then you know I guarantee that there would be an increase in ARP DAO. And and there you go. Like your whatever banners would be diluted by the first number that I'm sorry, show up on implementing the banners in a segmented way takes less than half a day. I know what you mean, but it's just insignificant because you're talking about uh, teams' capacity. I, I, I refuse that because it's such a dumb argument. <laughs> so much money it's, still it's, on the table. No, like, it's, not, it's like opportunity cost, man. It's opportunity cost. Yeah. Opportunity cost. Yeah. That's it. It's opportunity cost. Nothing else. But yeah. how many of these A-B tests that you run actually end up making more money usually? This is guaranteed. It's quite simple. I know it's guaranteed, but think about, about other A-B tests that you could run <laughs> instead, which could make 10 times more money. So we agree that more money is better than less money? Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but do we agree yeah. that more money is better than less money on the same time? Agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I yield the rest of my time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, like we talked about this for like a million times before. I mean, if if you say, oh, they could earn potentially half a million a day more thanks to balance, I'd say, yeah, 100%. But if man, it's man, like 50K, 60K per day, like, come on. Man, like one thing, like I, I get what you're saying. I, I, you know, all good. The thing is, you never went through these troubles yourself as a developer. Like all the SDKs crashing your app, your developers being fucking furious about it, community people being completely outraged by the ads that are being shown, blah, blah, blah. Things are, you know, you, you, from your perspective, like people implement it and charts go up, of course. But, you know, you don't see all the troubles, the QA and everything that goes into it. That's, that's the thing here. I mean, don't touch UA, dude. Like, what's why are you making QA? For... UA. QA. QA. Uh-huh. QA. Nobody cares about QA. Nobody cares about UA. <laughs> I know. Yeah, <laughs> Nobody yeah. cares about UA. <laughs> yeah, thank I know. You, that's I know. enough for this week. <laughs> yeah, thank you much. Okay, bye. Now I know Ken needs to leave as well. So I think, like, uh, we can, we can, we can, we can <laughs> leave it at QA. Nobody cares about QA. No. Yeah. So anything, anything else uh, we want to discuss? Uh, Before regarding Kevin's ads, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Ads, your game design. What do you guys think about the current rewarded placements? Because, like, I don't really see a point in watching them. Like, that's the major no, no, issue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, go I ahead. Think, go. I think that if they really wanted to, they could slice off one of the 10 progression verticals and put it behind a rewarded video. And then that would be meaningful for people that actually want to watch them. And they could do that without drastically cutting into their IEP revenue because they just have so many freaking progression verticals. Mm. They could do that. Um, that's what I would do if I really wanted to push on it. Probably. 
whatever yeah. like the lowest lowest uh, risk version of that is. Yeah, that that's that's basically what exactly Legend of Slime has. They had yeah. one one of yeah. these production vectors was completely behind ads because it's on a timer. So you need to watch three ads, and all of those just give you bonuses for twenty minutes. Yeah. So guys, doing Legend of Mushroom, if you're listening, you exactly know what to do now. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Well, just take the century games get... model for us uh, for our style. Be- before yeah, you run away, uh, uh, can you give us your rating for the game? What you give it? Um, I'm gonna steal Jakob's rating from the last game. I'll give it a, a nine. Uh, maybe, well, no, I'll, I won't do that. I'll give it an eight point five. I would give them another half a star for if they improve their gotcha, mm. and I would give them a full star if they had a better social loop. Um, I like that the progress they made versus Legend of Slime on social, but they have a long way to go there still. So. Yeah, something like a 4x meta system, and there would be uh, mm. just the gravy on top. Yeah, they would make a lot more money per day. A lot more, and it would be much more sustainable, uh, which is, I think, the key here. Because these these guys are going to do great for a month or two. I want to like maybe come back in a month or two and see how the game's doing. Yeah, well, you're yeah. going to do that. Yeah. Thanks for I'm having sure. me on, folks. I got sure. a dip. Enjoy. Thanks, for, thanks for staying. See ya. See we, yeah, we can we can check the UA. <laughs> we can check the UA. <laughs> Alone at last. <laughs> nah, nah, we can check the UA. It's gonna be quite uh, quite quick. Well, uh, actually, Ken gave us a few UA screenshots because they are apparently showing some ads in in the US sure. on Twitter. Yeah, I was like, what? It kind of that says a lot because nobody fucking cares about Twitter. Just uh, by the way, but yeah, they're kind of having sh- like a, you know you That's know Gengar. who is this? Oh, nice! Gengar. You have to, yeah. you had to Google it, right? No, no I didn't think Gengar was my uh, favorite Pokemon. Rude. But it's only because uh, Yakub had a T-shirt of uh, Gengar in Istanbul, <laughs> and you were talking about it. <laughs> There he is. Uh, it's like, yeah, what's happening? Oh, now I see. Yeah. See? Yeah, nice. There's yeah, a Gengar see. right there. There's the Gengar right there. Okay. So for for our fans, uh, Jakub just showed us his uh, Gengars and part, figurines. Small part of his figure collection. Yeah, small part. But then, then they have also, you know, who is this? <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, really? <laughs> yeah. Fake and Buzz Lightyear with mushroom head. And wait, wait a second. You know, who is this? Oh man, <laughs> mushroom Vader. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're mushroom Vader and like a lot of different shit. And obviously, we have uh, goddess level, whatever. Waifus. With, yeah, waifus, waifus, waifus. And, and, and tits and everything. And then we have also. Oh, really? Star Wars. Yeah, they're kind of. Star Wars uh, Walker. It's only Star mobile you get away with this. It's no, you, you no know, man. Like it's uh, you, you can't get away with this. It's I, the Twitter. It, it's it's only because of Twitter. They they don't you know could, anything. You couldn't do these right? things on Steam or whatever. Like the moment you have this, you you you're down. Really? Okay. Good, fair enough. Uh, well, I, can, I guess we can we can check this and because what we were talking about that happened somewhere here, right? It's like end of February. It's that uh, the Western part of the the launch, and now you get also like they launched Japan. Oh my fucking god! Japan is now like killing it. It's like 1.5 million a day in Japan on these spikes. It's like, wow, it's quite a lot. Impressive. But then, you know, like from here onwards, or since here onwards, like the US is kind of like going up. So, you know, like it's end, like beginning of March, US is already on the third spot in terms of the, the revenue. So it's Japan, South Korea, yeah. US, and then Taiwan, Germany. Put, put, the, put the stack icon there. You can see it much better there. there. Uh, whatever. But yeah. Okay, it's true. Wow. So so now it's also like you know, here they had the Japan just like end of end of February, and then they added uh, like the rest of the world basically. So like March, and then U.S., Taiwan, Germany, France, and other European countries. So it's that's why only now it's kind of starting to look interesting uh, from like the our perspective because now way more people actually know like this game exists. When we first uh, looked into the the the, the article from Sensor Time, like, what the fuck is happening here? Like, we have no idea what is this. And they're like, oh, wait, we can actually play this. All right, let's try. Let's try now. <laughs> uh, because you're quite surprised, like, this game made 
it's so many revenues and like okay like where is this where it's is literally this compared to legend of slime it's 10 times more during its peak on iap site only yeah well according to to sensor tower and also like in sensor tower i don't see the the twitter um, creatives so maybe we might be missing something but they are apparently running basic everywhere like all the channels you can you can get they are they're live on them except except facebook they have very small very why sm- is that you think uh because they are from asia and they don't really know how to manage this but it's very true that they have some very <laughs> funny creatives honestly and we'll get there uh look at this what Yes. <laughs> There's literally a red angry bird red, in their creative. Red, red angry, yes. And it's oh you know, God. it's not in the US, right? So there is yeah, they don't fucking care. They really they don't really care. So is that like, one piece? The, the, uh, I don't know, man. China? Like China must probably. I think China. Yeah, I think China. So they're running like every can every country basically. But if we go to US, which is an interesting and so I just saw their one piece, the anime guy. Yeah. yeah. So again, like all static images, and oh my god, again, Buzz Toy Story Lightyear from Toy Story. Yeah, sorry, but well, can you see like that was? It was Iron, uh, Iron that, Man. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. So they are kind of uh, doing all of these interesting <laughs> IP copies, Star Wars, and everything. It's, but this is not a video. Legend of Mushroom get three thousand consecutive free drops. <laughs> Why it was so high pitched the voice? <laughs> yeah, well, it was Legend of Slime almost. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this like all. Oh, hey, I'm making mushrooms for dinner. Mushrooms for dinner. So it's like it's huge see that some videos as well. Now you can play with mushrooms. And play these Instagram. Mushrooms. <laughs> it's yeah, like, what? Oh my god. You know, I just love video games where progress is key. I mean, these... And it's all about leveling up. The only thing, like, they didn't know is just check the, the creative strategy from Legend of Slime. See so if they, if they did, like, they would do way better on no, creatives. And I'm not saying... I, mean, I can't hear what you're saying at all, because this guy... Oh, yeah, sorry. And, then we... and I, I don't... I'm not saying uh, that would be because I, I did a lot of that, those creatives, but uh, it's just it just doesn't you know, fit... It just doesn't fit. It's like, look at this. This game gives players nothing. Wow, 3D? Exactly. Like, why? And this kind of 3D is like... This looks like World of Warcraft. Exactly. It's like, it's... Yeah. But they get like, they are kind of going most probably for wow. different oh, types of audience with this, maybe. But this won't do the trick for like the, the sweet spot of uh, CPIs and ROI afterwards. Just this will definitely have way. How higher. did they build this? Like, did they build this, like a separate game for this creative? Like, this is no. literally like a different platform, not a different yeah. gameplay. Yeah, but nobody cares. Like, they just yeah, this is just like different creative, and like it's, it, it it kind of goes into the same. Uh, <laughs> there was a kind of fun at the end. <laughs> there was some kind of fun at the end. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, it's yeah, it's look. You see, like another UGC, and it's like it's not even interesting. Like, what the fuck is this? Who's this guy? Yeah, exactly. He's, he's fake for sure. Equipment upgrades. It's your own unique mushroom warrior. This is I mean, the adventure. Uh, you can't be fake and have like a leather leather and hat. Play today. <laughs> Get three thousand consecutive draws. But they also like say free, three thousand free draws, and it's just like bullshit. Even no, no, Ken, they, have Ken, they have that in the game. They have that in the game, but Ken mentioned it's like it's. Uh, oh no, they advertise something else, and they, they get they get all three thousand. Yeah, this is kind of good because this is like day one versus day thirty kind of level of progression in the creatives, which. This is from what? what uh, a tier four battle axe mushroom with just three days? Uh, Combat power uh, 10 million. Cartoon. How did you get so strong? This game, AFK for a while, and you get thousands <laughs> of divine lamps. Just need a few taps and know your favorite. Maybe if you turn down. the volume a little volume bit off. down, we could speak a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, that volume is quite low for me, so it's fine. <laughs> of course, I don't <laughs> want to have your ears anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. Fair enough. No, it's like yeah, that's that was Facebook, man. Like it's like it's so so weird, and uh, 
I mean, look. If is it even more weird in South Korea or Japan? Are yeah, they like I'll, localized? I'll, I'll I will get there. Don't worry. I will get there. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you you see like all the all all the networks, right? And yeah. like it's, it's mainly Unity, and there is like a little bit of uploading. It's like, um, guys, like I'm pretty sure, like if you know how to run. Or if you are kind of skilled in in uh, in UA, you just have to have way more uploading budget, man. Like, like Legend of Sly was like fucking killing it for uploading, and even on Google, it was like maybe so big. Mediating on uh, maybe they're not mediating on Max, which means nothing. They can still run a lot of uh, IIP campaigns. This game makes a lot of money on IIPs, and it, as Ken mentioned, you're kind of, they are kind of front lo- front loading all the payments, and like it's strong on day yeah. one, day two, or maybe even day zero. Which means a lot of signals. So uploading campaigns in like on day zero IIPs, like this man, I can imagine like this works so well, so well. Mm. And you have all the, like this like I don't know, like this end card which is I don't know load like different characters there, right? It's like it's not even interesting. Sorry, but... this is, sorry. Yeah, this oh, is good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, this no, no is... volume, no volume. No, no, I don't know. Like, don't worry, I won't. Do it. But this, I mean, this is funny. But it's like, okay, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe. But this it's... works. This works like on default for gacha games, doesn't it? That you advertise that you have a lot of free gacha pools. I, I see be. it all yeah, the time. I think. I think uh, yeah, but uh, you can you can do it in a way that it's actually in the end card. You know, like saying like main thing in the in the concept. Like, then it's kind I of like... see like like the, literally the whole concept is based around that we give you free free stuff. That's yeah, but the concept. I know it should be also on, on something else. I know, like the little bit games, and Rise of Kingdoms had this, like all these, like free something. It was either at the end as, as a coupon code or something, and they had all these different UGC types of all real, real actors in it, and uh, it was actually interesting. I mean, it was cringe as fuck, but it was, <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> You're talking about UI creators, it's cringe yeah. anymore? <laughs> yeah, I know. And like, like, come on, you can have like so many, I mean, these, I guess these are good variations and different concepts, but again, like it feels more like a, like a slot game. It's like social casino. Mm. All the money. Come on. This, this screen, where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Come okay. On, this like, one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. That screams that, social casino. Like literally <laughs> thousands of diamonds yeah. dropping, and then like three <laughs> sevens. <laughs> it's like so like absolute social casino. Yeah. It's like in terms of like yeah, the UA like they are kind of everywhere. Uh, and if you if you select like this, uh, it's all Unity integral and and Apple having a little bit here and there. It's like out outside of US, obviously. So, US is not their main country yet, but if I guess if they want to grow on the on the west side, then that it should it should be way 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 better in terms of the and then see again we have all this like fun stuff outside of US, which is basically who is this? I know random guy, <laughs> random guy holding <laughs> random a sword. Korean guy with a sword. Yeah, fantasy one by the way. It's a shit sword. <laughs> No, like honestly, like those swords won't work. Like it, yeah. it will hurt you more than the enemy. Wait, are you talking about the UA campaigns, or are you talking? <laughs> about... No, no, no. Actually, <laughs> this sword that he's holding in his hands, it won't help you. You will get hurt from it. Trust me. Yeah. Does he look like a guy who fights with swords, bro? Exactly. Yeah, like, this <laughs> no, is a guy, he fights like... with mushrooms. I know. Yeah. So maybe this is like <laughs> special abilities. Like yeah, you fight mushrooms, not uh, not real enemies. <laughs> so yeah. It's... Bro. This is like this is the crit, yeah. All uh, the memes, Korean yeah, memes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course, all the it memes. Works, it works for them, so I yeah, guess I know, like in Korea and yeah, in, in Japan for sure. I mean, yeah, like Ken said, the pepper frog in the icon it goes yeah. a long way. Yeah, 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 exactly. So yeah, I mean, it, we have all 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 the same all the time. Like, and developers from from Asia, they do well in Asia, right? And they have all the creatives because they know what works in Asia, but they don't know what works in US. Yeah. It's just like that's just so just how it is. Yeah, uh, if, I know. If, 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 call me. <laughs> this this applies <laughs> except forex. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, okay, fair, 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 fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, well, we'll see. Let's take it. Oops. Ooh, wow. So mushroom. Oh, I mean, this might work actually. Uh, in 
in West. Like, look, kinda, yeah, it's, yeah, mass battles. Come on, like, yeah, it's like mass, one, battles, mass, mass battles. Mass battles always work. Definitely, yeah. Very, very we satisfying need just to watch. Yeah, we yeah, need more mushrooms zombies. Versus, mushroom versus zombies. Easy. But the whole game is very cute for zombies. I don't think so. It would work. Yeah. In, oh, by the way, yeah, you mentioned the beginning. Like, oh well, there's like uh, something they changed uh, in uh, from Legend of Slime. It's also like different art style. So. Yeah. 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 It's different. Different art style. There you go. What you saying? Oh, social casino. <laughs> yeah, it's like, exactly. Go. This is also social casino. Come on. <laughs> yeah, P- PS5 on the left hand side, and but for, the... for Asia, this this isn't social yeah, casino. Know. Yeah, man. Like I know. Like I I remember we went to. Well, it's like Unity Party. It's like, oh, we have lucky draw. Like, what? Yeah, but it's normal because you know. I know, I know. Asia lives by the gacha. I know, yeah, it's true. Can she be a bit more quiet? <laughs> there maybe. we go. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, it's this it definitely works. But uh, I can't imagine throwing yeah, it's just PS5. localized, localized thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like yeah. this. Yeah, it's good. Because then they know what works, and like we have th- these discussions always. Like, okay, should we just translate things to to penetrate Japan or South Korea? I was like, ah, no, just need to properly localized, and you, you need to know what kind of works there. So yeah, mm. it's like my rating won't be uh, very generous. So what's your rating? I like five out of ten. Yeah. Was no, that even the game that that went past eight in your? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which definitely, one? Yes, I, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, but we had we had definitely eight. We had definitely eight. Uh, I need I need to check. I need to check which, which game of war. Game. No game of war. No. <laughs> the game of war. No. But yeah, okay. I did give some. I gave even like nine to some game actually. You gave a nine. Yeah, you gave. A I nine. gave a nine. I gave a nine. Okay, Felix. Four. The Four. placements don't lead anywhere. They have okay. ad placements, but like they don't like you don't need to press them. You yeah. do it if you feel like it, and it's really yeah. not worth it. Yeah, yeah, but that's just like important distinction here. Like even though it's so successful, it's still like stuff to improve. I agree here. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh yeah. But they, I, w- they I wouldn't do... do the banners anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, my side, I would do nine this time Ooh. because oh, yeah, uh, this is yeah. very, very, very complex to do, where you. are Building on a base of something else, and then you're actually very heavily improving it. And these guys really heavily improving it, I think, especially with the lamp mechanic turning gacha into like the idle core gameplay. Mm. I, I haven't seen it yet, I think. Like, this this is very innovative. And then the social layer, it's kind of stitched from like different things, but for me, it kind of works well. Like, I, I, I definitely agree with what Ken said that, like, for whales and like bears, kind of portion of the economy, it's not enough and they could be making more out of it. Hmm. But the whole kind of farming, shroom, like, whatever stealing mechanics and like all these things, especially the map, the old school map, they have the shared space in the guild. Yeah. I think it's very, very nice. So, for that, like, I definitely kind of. Even than that, but yes, yeah, can said like the not having price segmentation is like a first grader mistake. Yeah, I'm exactly, sorry, guys. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. So it cannot be ten. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> but you know, like, there's always a pattern. As soon as we we give the game a high a high rate with Felix, you, you go like, oh, I'm gonna do this five, and, and then like there's like, the other part, like we say like it's five or six or four, like oh my god, this is so so amazing, eight. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, you go back to those places. It's, it's it's always so like this. true. It's so, it's so true. It's so true. I just I just realized we always like oh my god, this could be so much better. I was like oh, this is great. Which is fair. Which is fair. Come Which on, he's making two yeah, and a half million a day. I know. I know. Yes. Yes. That's exactly. I know. Like, but how can long you imagine... is he stay? That's a question. That's yeah. A yeah, yeah and yeah. second question is like, can you imagine like how much more could they earn if they? They kind of fix these two things yeah. as well on the yeah. maybe on ads or, or well, yeah, by the on way UI, one, on UI on ads it doesn't matter because it's just so tiny. Yeah, one public service announcement. I don't know when we're gonna do this, but I uh, understand uh, there may be some people pissed because we didn't do soft launch sonar and review radar for some time now, and it's kind of due. So maybe we'll get to it at some point in like a little bit more special format to look into it. Because yeah, we'll definitely keep this. We're keeping brawl stars very heavily on our radar from our last discussion. We'll get to that. We see you guys. Soon. We see you guys. Yeah, we see you guys. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of interesting games being. Of lunch, of course, we're looking at them. At some point, we we talk about. Them. Don't worry, we didn't forget about those. We're not gonna do reviews forever from now on. So yeah, ah, we're gonna there. do reviews forever. But it's like it's so many new <laughs> we're games. We're gonna do these things on top. <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. 
again, thanks for listening. Uh, and then please keep subscribing. Our subscriber count on YouTube uh, just passed 7,000, which is amazing. The total number of listeners or subscribers is around like nine. No, yeah, nine something. Uh, you know, we stopped counting. It's just too, too many people. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's, uh, no we didn't. We yeah, appreciate no, we you all. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, thank you very much we, for support. Yeah. And then join the Slack if you want to have a like, heads up what we'll be reviewing the week after. Yes, it's going to be in the show notes. And then see you next time. Yep. Ciao. Cheers. Bye bye. Thank you.